If you haven't seen installments one and two, they're in our previous videos. There? There? Not there. Not there. There. Okay, so we have done Confessions of a Hoarder part one and two, and today we're finally getting around to doing part three. So we better open up these sheds and get into them. This is where the bulk of my treasures are. Colette calls it junk, I call it treasures. It's probably a bit of both. So it definitely needs to go get gone through. And what I'm gonna do is I've got about three days till the weekend and I want to have a big yard sale at my mum's place so that's what I've got to aim for in the next few days I've got to get at least a few car and trailer loads around to mum's set up and have a yard sale there Timber! One bay! Just a couple of things. Now this is accumulated over years. Some of it I have been carting around, especially all the suitcases and boxes in this one. Um, I've been carting that around for, I don't know, 15 years or so. I mean, the odd one or two, probably even longer. Uh, but some of the stuff in this section I've been carting around for that long. And one day we will get in there and show them. One day we will go through the suitcases and the boxes because in there there's a lot of um, books and love letters, magazines, and there's memorabilia, Bibles and stuff in there over a hundred years old. And then we've also got memorabilia, some of our keepsakes like our love letters when we were teenagers, um, cards kids stuff from when they were at school lots of little things like that little treasures memories hidden in that section I tried to keep this middle section for stuff that I could resell or take to markets yard sales that sort of thing so a lot of the stuff in this middle section should be able to get sorted and go it can either get thrown away if I don't sell it but I'll, I'll try and make a few bucks first and if I can't sell it, I think I'll just end up dumping a lot of it because I've been carting it around and saving it for way too long. And it's time to finally do something about it. Um, as you can see, I haven't got much room left in the sheds. Because I'm a collector. Order. Okay, I've pulled a few things out. It's about time I started organising a couple of them, going through it. Some of this stuff I have taken to markets before and had yard sales with, so it's sort of like the scraps of the, the last of some of the stuff I used to sell. So I might just have a quick go through it, try and condense it, and throw out anything that I've been carting around for too long and haven't sold yet, and that can either go to a charity shop or to the dump if it's no good. So I'll quickly do that. Just so far on the table. Oh, oh. Um, I've got all these big lines of flags I'll probably put them up at the yard sale and try and make it appealing for people coming to the yard sale at mum's a couple of them skateboards are the old vintage um, what they call penny boards. penny boards so they might be worth a couple of bucks I'll take them and try and sell them okay A hand line. Geez, that's a decent hook. That's for catch, catching bull sharks, babe. Catching bull sharks. Catching bull sharks with this one, mate. Never know what you'll find in the shed. I don't think you'll find bull sharks in the shed, baby. Oh, no, I won't find bull sharks. 
<laughs> if you stay out here all night, you might catch a cold. Oh, 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 you're so funny. Ball and claw bitters is what it says on it. So it's an old um, bitters bottle. Victoria bitter. Tequila bottle. Tequila! Why did the Mexican push his wife over the cliff? Tequila! <laughs> tequila! <laughs> hey, tequila! Hey, rumba! Coca Cola, soft drink crate. Oh, we call them soft drink, you just call them soda in the USA, I think. Coca-Cola. Okay, so that would have had the bottles in it, glass bottles. Old Coca-Cola soda bottle crate. That's an old um, little camp stove. You fold it out like that. It sits up, you put a little tiny little fire underneath and you put your metal cup on there and it heats up. I think the soldiers used to use them for making a cup of tea or a coffee. So you put it like that, put a little fire underneath, put your cup on top and it boils one cup straight away for you. And then inside is little fire starters. These old little clay jugs. I like it, them. What does it say on there? They're ink pots aren't they? No, they used to use them in chemistry sets. This one is more like a little ink pot. So cute. That one's an ink pot. Got the wax on top. Wax or ink? I don't know. Shaving cream. That's what you would strike your match on. And then inside the tin is your matches. Old matchbox. Stevens inks. That was a little ink bottle, half ounce. You get a little half ounce of ink in there, and that's when they used to write with quills or fountain pens. Okay, so this bit here would stake into the ground. That bit there. The right bit will come along. Hippity hoppity. <gasps> oh, that's cruel. So they're your old rabbit traps. Yeah. And that's how they work. Just that little lever there. Once that pops out, just like a rat trap. We use and recommend shell quality products. Crikey, look at the little treasure I found in here. Say hello to my widow friend. <laughs> Safari so good. Hey. Did anyone ever have one of these as a kid? It had a stick in the back there, and then you would push it along. Oh. oh, cute! A little buzzy bee. 
Buzzy, buzzy bee. A busy bee. Busy bee. I'm having fun with all this. What else are we going to need? A bottle. That's an old Coke bottle. Which is... Old Forex beer bottle. You ever have bottles like this in the US or the UK? That's what we called a tallie. That's from around about mid 70s. Thanks for joining me while I started to sort through some of this junk in my shed. Hopefully we can get it over to Mum's, start setting it up and we'll have a big yard sale this weekend coming. Thanks heaps everyone. Remember, take time for the simple joys. Bye!